prepayments and accruals. Let us look once again at a trial balance at the end of an accounting year. Of course, in reality, during an accounting cycle, there would be thousands of transactions and there would be hundreds of accounts in the trial balance. But these 15 are sufficient to illustrate the various points we want to explain. We've already seen adjustments for stocks, adjustments for amortization, and adjustments for provision for bad or doubtful clients. Now we shall turn to adjustments for prepayments and adjustments for accruals. Suppose in the 1,500 euros of shock expenses recorded during the year, because we received invoices and treated them, let's look at this uh, 1,500 here in the trial balance. Uh, for the line shop expenses, we have in debit 1,500. And as I said, suppose that this 1,500 do not correspond entirely to charges of the year. A part of it corresponds to charges of next year. So a part really concerns consumption, which we shall make next year. Suppose 1,000 euros are really consumption of this year and 500 euros are consumptions to be made next year. Since one of the objectives of accounting is to compute precisely the net result of the year, the charge of 1,500 euros in this income statement is not correct. A part of it is really a charge for next year and should not appear here. So if the prepayment is, as we said, 500 euros, notice that whether we paid it in cash or not doesn't make any difference. We'll make the following adjustments. Well, in the shop expenses account, we shall make an adjustment at the end of the year uh, of 500 in credit to compensate this 1,500 of charges of the year. Here I represented something that is uh, unusual. I put some of all the shop expenses of the year because there would be many. And suppose it's 1,500. And at the same time, in a new account called prepayments, we would make the adjustment in debit 500 euros. And this is, I could add BS because it's a capital account. It's an account that will end up in the balance sheet. So the new trial balance is this, it has changed. The shop expenses now of the year, these are real, really the shop expenses of the year are 1000. And there's a new account, prepayment. Once again, I could have put BS if I wanted to, with 500 here. So everything is balanced again. But this will end up as assets, temporary assets in the balance sheet. And the IS, the income statement, has also evolved. Uh, we, the trading account doesn't change. But here, shop expenses now is 1,000. This is really the charges of the year. And the net profit or loss, here it's a loss. The loss has decreased. Conversely, suppose that during the accounting cycle, we purchased and consumed some things for which we haven't yet received the invoice from the supplier. Then, it is not in the accounting process yet, and therefore, uh, well, it has not been recorded anywhere. But it's a charge of the year that we are aware of. But we know it is going to be a charge of the year. Suppose it is an amount of 100 euros that pertains to the shop expenses again. Then we shall make an adjustment for this. The posting of the accrual of 100 euros is simple. In the shop expenses, we add again in debit 100 and we open a new account called accruals account and in credit, we put 100 and it will be in the balance sheet. It will be a liability. It is something that a creditor uh, provided to us and we owe this creditor even though we have not received any document, any invoice from the creditor and therefore it was not in the accounting process yet. 
So to finish up this uh, lesson and to finish up all the adjustments we shall study in this course, now the trial balance is this. Shop expenses have gone back to 1,100, but there is an accrual here for 100 that compensates. And the income statement uh, here is, uh, well, the, the so-called trading part. And then the rent hasn't changed. Shop expenses is 1,100. Salaries we have not poked, or, uh, poked with. Amortization we studied, 1,120. And provisions for bad clients, 250. The last two uh, adjustments that we made are not new accounts here. They were adjustments in some of these accounts, and in my example, in shop expenses. And the other two accounts here will go into the balance sheet.